Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a solo guide for co-op extracts on Interchange. Do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like on this one here today, and of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more PvE content. Let's hop right into this one. So you heard me correct, it is possible to actually do a co-op extract as a solo player, especially on Interchange because of how the scavs work, at least in PvE. So with that being said, let's hop into Interchange and... Let me show you how. All right, so the only spawn we don't want is one on the side of the extract. So this is perfect. We don't want to spawn anywhere on the highway. We want to give these scavs time to spawn out there. And we're going to do our best to, one, not die. And two, try to get them to come to us. So a couple things we're going to do once we're over there. And I'm letting you know now because I don't know how quickly it may happen if there's already scavs over there but what you're going to do is if the scavs are far away from the actual extraction point which is by the one container if they're far away from you what you're going to do is you're going to shoot once you're just going to shoot with a loud weapon it can be a pistol it can be a shotgun it can be any weapon as long as there's not a suppressor on it uh, you want to shoot once and you want to wait a little bit and if you don't hear any scavs you don't hear any comps you don't hear anything like that um, you want to use a grenade next and you want to kind of alternate between grenade and shooting grenade and shooting loud noises are going to attract scavs it's the main way i got done pest control we're gonna have a video for that but um some really annoying tasks where you need to kill scavs in certain areas this is the way that i do it and it seems to also work with the extraction for co-op extract here by bringing those scavs to you so that might not make sense as I'm just saying it, but once we are over there, I hope it'll make a little more sense for you. But because of where we spawn, we should already have scavs in the vicinity. And it just depends on if we get like a intelligent scav or not, to be honest with you. Some of them, you know, they're going to be aggressive. They're going to aggro you. That's what we actually want. And uh, some of them just are going to be stupid and you're just going to have to kill them and hope to get a better one. All right, so we are closing in to the extraction point. I haven't heard or seen any scavs yet, which is good. You want to hear or see them closer to the extract. You don't want to get smoked going to it. So there's going to be two different spots you can hit the co-op extract from, and it really depends on where the scavs are in relation to you. First one is going to be inside the container here. There's no scavs here, so that might actually be a problem. First place is going to be inside the container here, and I believe this is new with the, like, increased extraction zones. Um, you know, if your scav is coming around here and looking in the container, either which way, that's going to be a bit of a problem. And you're going to have to come back here to actually extract. But if they are, like, out here, then you're going to need to run in the container and extract from here so what we're gonna do is we are going to shoot and we're gonna wait we're gonna try and attract some scavs to us i already hear one there you go i mean that literally i've been recording for seven minutes that got a little sketchy because of where he was coming from but we survived long enough so even though that was a run through you're still going to get the appropriate amount of scav rep and it's a lot it's worth doing these co-op extracts if you can get the scavs to kind of work in your favor is the best way to put it so to show you that right here 0.25 on the co-op extract that is a massive jump in your scav rep especially if you only need a little bit more to get up to that six mark this is a massive jump to your scav rep and you should also get a package from fence that can contain a couple items as well and um yeah with this method it's pretty easy we got it with one shot out of our shotgun that's all we needed scav came right to us like i said it was a little dicey there in the last two seconds but we survived no harm no foul you're not always going to survive but most times you'll be okay and just to let you guys know if you are doing these co-op extracts you won't get your fence package for a little bit i don't know the exact amount of time 
but I do think it's over 24 hours if memory serves me correct. I haven't done one in quite a long time. This is the first time I've actually committed to doing it on PVE. So I'm not sure if they've continued to make adjustments to the actual timer when it comes to getting the fence package, but you should receive rewards eventually. So this is how to do co-op extracts, at least on Interchange. I don't know if it works on the other maps. I'm going to have to kind of do a little bit more testing and a little bit more research on that. But at least I got you one method to get that scab rep up a little bit quicker. Do me a huge favor. Make sure you're dropping a like on this one here today. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.